Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we are entering the land of social skills, and I'm going to be talking about two questions to avoid asking someone right before a high pressure moment. And in today's situation, the high pressure moment that I'm going to be talking about is giving a big speech. Let's say your buddy, he has to give this huge speech at a wedding. There are at least 500 people at the wedding. You know that this guy normally is not the most confident person, but he has to give the speech because he's so close to the groom. The first bad question to ask him is, are you nervous? During my time in Toastmasters, that was seen as a taboo question because whenever someone did not have a public speaking experience, one of the first things that they would always default to whenever they saw someone giving a speech is, hey, are you nervous? And these people that are asking this question, they're super ignorant. They don't mean any harm. They're just ignorant about the effect that they're having on the speaker. The effect that they're having on the speaker is that the speaker is thinking either two things. One thing was, well, I wasn't that nervous. I mean, I was nervous a long time ago, but I've been practicing a lot. But since you were asking me, am I nervous? Now I feel a little nervous. The second train of thought is, yeah, I am nervous. What, can you tell? Oh my God, if you could tell, that means anyone can tell. And this person who asked the question suddenly puts the speaker at a state of distress. This is not good. Rather than asking that question at all, it's much better to assume that this is not a big moment. Yes, the speaker is going to give a speech in front of a lot of people, but what you want to do is you want to act like this is just any other day. If you normally talk to this guy about sports, go ahead and bring up some sports with this person right before the speech too, because this person now thinks, okay, well, he's not making a big deal out of it. I doubt other people are making a big deal out of it. So now I don't have to make such a big deal out of it where I'm over here getting stressed. I can now feel good. So avoid asking that question. Aren't you nervous? Right before a person is supposed to do this high pressure event. The second question you want to avoid is, what if something goes wrong? This question is a tad bit tricky because this question overall is not bad. But when you ask that question will determine if it's bad or good. You want to ask a question like this weeks before the high pressure moment. So let's say for this guy that's giving a speech in front of 500 people, you don't want to ask this person, what if something goes wrong right before he gets on stage, which by the way, a lot of people do. But it, if you ask the question, Hey, what if something goes wrong three weeks before that helps this person? Now this person thinks, well, yeah, what if something does go wrong? I mean, what if the stage that I'm speaking in is wobbly? What am I going to do then? Should I move around and give my speech or should I stand still the entire time? What am I going to do? What if there's a baby that randomly begins crying? Am I going to stop the speech? address the baby, make a joke about the baby. So the audience knows that I'm not over here just reciting a memorized speech. What am I going to do? So when you ask the question, what if something goes wrong weeks before the high pressure moment, this helps the person think of creative solutions. You definitely want to watch out who you are speaking to because some people, they just get nervous way quicker than others. So if they are getting super nervous fast, then avoid asking a question like this. But if for the most part, they are a very resilient individual, go ahead, ask this question and they will at first think, well, what, what, what do you mean by that? But over time they will say, yes, this is a smart question that you asked me. It helped me tremendously, especially preparing for this high pressure moment. The two questions you want to avoid. Number one is, are you nervous? And number two is, what if something goes wrong right before the big 
moment. Allow people to thrive in big moments, and you do that by either acting completely normal or just keep hyping them up, keep giving them words of affirmation. The more words of affirmation that you give them, the more that you give them courage in a very dark moment. If you enjoyed today's talk and you want to understand how to give pep talks, these pep talks that inspire others and give others clarity plus courage, be sure to check out the next video right on here. I'll link it. It is how to give legendary pep talks that will help you boost your charisma and boost your public speaking skills. Check out this video and I will catch you next time.